I get very frustrated um, with certification that colonializes marginalized people mm. in the field. And I've had, you know, Anthony, I've had some beef around <laughs> some of the efforts on Regen. And you know be that is because my yeah. feeling is, first of all, we have a lot of work to do here in the United States. And if the certification for regenerative mm. agriculture is coming out of the United States, we should start here and have some really big wins and successes here, where we are, again, mm. emitting 30% of our, our, our carbon is coming from agriculture in the United States. Let's tackle that problem mm -hmm. first. To go to communities in developing countries, in conflict zones, in whatever, you know, other parts of the world that we Americans don't mm -hmm. live in, and to try to dictate standards mm -hmm. and charge uh, indigenous people mm -hmm. and smallholder farmers mm -hmm. for yeah. what they have been doing for hundreds, if not thousands of years is wrong mm -hmm. and it is colonialistic mm -hmm. it, it that's the truth mm -hmm. and i know that is a very yeah. difficult truth to acknowledge and look at until yeah. until regenerative ag becomes a more global body right until there's a global mm -hmm. body established on this that represents people mm -hmm. from all over the world in different farming mm -hmm. communities which have different circumstances and different challenges mm -hmm. I don't believe we can put a certification on this. That is my opinion. I think there's some great groups mm -hmm. out there doing some amazing work and, and creating some really awesome baseline standards. But as far as certification yep. is concerned, in my opinion, if it's coming from us in the United States or the Western world, and we're trying to dictate to those indigenous and smallholder farmers, mm -hmm. th that's wrong. That's fundamentally yeah. wrong.